In this video, we're taking the Nikon Z6 mirrorless camera to Guatemala, putting it into the hands of Diego Rizzo, a photographer who specializes in capturing active volcanoes. Over the course of three days, we'll be exploring the rugged area around Fuego, the country's most active volcano, to capture some stunning images of fire and light. Everything you're about to see was filmed and photographed on the Nikon Z6. I'm Diego Rizzo. I'm a natural photographer specialized in volcano photography. I've been shooting on Nikon cameras, but I, I'm so excited to, to try in the new Nikon Z6 mirrorless camera. One of my strategies to photograph volcanoes is to get in as closer as I can to camp there to wait for the perfect time, perfect weather. We picked up two guides. They're gonna help us with the equipment, with the food. We have to bring a, a four by four car. The Catenango Volcano and Fuego Volcano are, are like twins volcano. Fuego Volcano is, is active. Uh, Acatenango is a dormant volcano. The summit of Acatenango Volcano is, is like the best viewpoint. I'm setting up the camera. I'm using the 70 to 200 lens with the adapter. The Fuego Volcano is very active right now. I'm taking advantage of the light. The Nikon Z6 is a 24 megapixel full frame mirrorless camera built around the brand new Z mount. Aimed at a wide base of photographers, the Z6 offers familiar DSLR like handling, a highly detailed electronic viewfinder, and excellent image quality. Photographs can be captured at a maximum of 12 frames per second. Oversampled 4K video is also available, and a firmware update will add support for 12 bit raw capture over HDMI to an external recorder. This makes the Z6 one of the most versatile cameras in its class. On-sensor phase detection autofocus covers almost the entire frame in both stills and video mode, and built-in sensor stabilization helps keep photos and video free from shake. When you're close to a volcano, it is like a very sandy place. It's really, really hard on camera and lenses. You can see some, some dust here in the photo, so I, I try to clean it up with the, with the cleaning system of the, of the camera, and it worked, it worked really great. The dust that I was, was seeing in the, in the photos is, is gone. Right now it's pretty cold. Um, I'm really shaking, <laughs> uh, but we are going to take some photos here before we lose the, the, all the light. We were almost at the edge of the crater. Nature wanted to show us how powerful it could be. The weather and the wind was almost unbearable. It was it was really tough, so we had to leave and go to the base camp. It was kind of disappointing, but we are here and we have another opportunity. We are waiting for, for the clouds to pass by. When the explosions are big, uh, we can we can feel it in the ground. I'm shooting our guide he's standing right in front of the moon the fog is like um, doing like a rainbow around the around the moon fuego volcano is one of the most powerful volcanoes here in guatemala and central america and also very destructive on 2018 um, it killed lots of people uh, because of uh, an eruption and the pyroclastic flows. Maybe I can honor people 
that died that day through one of my photos and 200 people that uh, lost their families, their kids, their parents, and that would be a honor to me. It was very foggy the whole night, and so windy. I was freezing in, on my tent. That is the water at the volcanoes. I brought some coffee from Acatenango that is cultivated uh, down the volcano. So this is the volcano that we're gonna drink. Oh, so good. <laughs> it's clearing right now. We finally get some uh, explosions. I'm using a 200 to 500 millimeters lens, so I'm trying to capture the projectiles of the volcano. You are very close, you can see each rock is, that is flying from the volcano and the power, you can capture the power of rocks flying to the air. Matt, can you move forward, forward please? There, there, there! And I'm shooting right now using the intervalometer of the camera. I asked Matt to stand right on that ridge. This is really epic, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Finally, we, we got it. We put the camera to the test. I used the camera in cold dust, wet, but the camera was working impressively. The weather still is pretty impressive. Why volcanoes? I don't know, maybe maybe because they are the best expression of the power of nature and creation. With these type of cameras, there is no limit to achieve the photos that I want, showing to the world uh, this little country called Guatemala through my lens. 